Today, I'd like to talk about digester and bioreactor systems. In other words, Z calls zero impact dairy farm. Future dairy farming in New Zealand will require increased milk solid production and reduced environmental impact. Did you know the predominant component of the New Zealand's dairy cow diet is ryegrass? This provides a grazable herbage base for a highly profitable farm system throughout New Zealand. Nutrient composition is variable and depends on the season and the climate and is or not optimal compared to TMR. Nitrogen content often exceeds cow's requirements. Digestible energy content can limit the ability of rumen microbes to make full use of the available nitrogen. In the summer and autumn, low nitrogen limits the milk production. What if you could benefit of TMR throughout the year at a near cost of spring grass? What if you could time your lactation independent of season to obtain the best price of your milk solids? What if you could attain ideal mixed rations at prices that let you maximize gross feed efficiency? What if you could achieve all of this with zero impact on the environment through total recycling? To achieve this, it requires that all waste needs to be processed and that waste is used to efficiently grow plants. We will use an anaerobic digester to process waste and a photobioreactor to efficiently grow plants with the same waste. The whole idea comes from a program studied in the United States, which ran from 1958 through to 1978, and the studies focused on permanent bases on the moon. Because NASA wanted to raise cows on the moon using algae. Many of the technical approaches developed at the time have since been commercialized and applied to a number of nutritional and feed products. Zico has used the best practices to combine advanced anaerobic digest and photobioreactor in combination to deliver you increased profits and lower costs. The process is simple. We start with improved manure handling. We go from a conventional method to an anaerobic digest of waste to produce gas and stack solids, which are a perfect fertilizer replacement. Did you know lower milk solid payout puts added economic pressure on milk producers to improve efficiency? We also use algae to clean the water for reuse and produce additional feed efficiency. These solids are acceptable to various authorities that regulate animal feed. There are about 60,000 varieties of algae and mixing them meets all the food needs of a cow. Algae based feed produces all feed types, sugar, starch and proteins and so forth. And it's one third the cost of conventional feed or less. Algae has been used for 200 years and is a well-defined feed. Amino acid composition is well understood for each variety and general composition for each variety is also well understood. This is the future of farming. Zero impact farming physical. Thank you for listening.